Let's pray. Father, today I believe I've shared the truth of your word with your church. Lord, these are your precious people. Lord, I believe that you're speaking to men and women today. I believe, Spirit of God, that you're dealing with hearts. Lord, in just a moment, people are going to worship you with their treasure. And some today are going to sacrifice and sow into your kingdom. Or they're not given to Dwight and Khan. They're not even given to the sanctuary. They're really giving to you. In just a moment, I'm going to ask you, those of you that are here, to, to, to do something. You say, well, what, is it? what does my money have to do? Well, you know what? It represents your life and your heart. And if you never get free in that area, you'll never get free. In other words, if God, God deals with heart, what, what is it that stops us from giving to God? It's, it's fear, fear of lack, fear of survival. I'm not going to have enough. We can give by calculation or by revelation. Who is God to you? And if you sacrifice, if you come to an altar today, this is not about an altar, it's about your life. And see, it's not just about today. It's about what are you going to give God? Really, the, the sacrifice, the obedient sacrifice He wants, it's you. It's all of you. He wants every part of you. He wants your, your affection. He wants your time. He wants your focus. He wants your attention. He loves you. He wants to dwell inside of you in all the fullness of His glory. And if you're satisfied with the measure of Jesus you've had, then that's wonderful. But what if there's more? What if there's more? I don't know about you. I want all. I don't want some. I want all of what He has. I want the fullness. For me, yes, but also through me for someone else. Today, if, if you're in this place and you would say, look, Brother Doug, I hear what you're saying today. and Today, I'm going to... I just... I've been... I recognize. I've, I've identified where I'm at. I've been happy with just the milk been happy just to be like a baby and sit as one of the multitude. Now, I recognize I want to move up a little higher. I want to come closer. Maybe you're one of his disciples and you said, look, I heard the message today and I'm not satisfied just to be one of his disciples. I want to see him in his glory. And there's an invitation to you today. Maybe you're here today and you say, look, I, I love Jesus. But I want to, I recognize that there's a place in his heart. And I want to hear him. I want to draw closer. I'm willing to, to risk. I'm willing to, to, to do what I've never done. I'm willing to move up. I don't want to stay down the mountain with the donkeys. But I want to go up and I want to worship. If that's you today, I want you to stand at your feet and just come down here to an altar. Just come and if you have a gift, I don't know how you all do it here, you leave your gift there. This is not a call to a man. There's no condemnation for you today. The Lord wants to minister to you. There's an altar here today. It's an altar. It's an altar. No coming to anything or anyone. Jesus. laid on by Doug Rowland. Every time Steve Gyland speaks, I always come and get my hands laid on. Don't miss this opportunity to be touched by somebody who really loves you. Doug Rowland, I've been with him. He loves people. Doug Rowland has emptied his, uh, his pocketbook 
I know this because uh, he sold his houses. He had some houses, but he sold them for treasure. He's lived very modestly. And you're going to have an opportunity to see into treasures of people's lives. Uh, this morning, all the cash offerings will go to Doug. Uh, you can write a check to Grace and Glory in a moment. That will go... Well, when I say it goes to Doug, Doug puts everything he has into Grace and Glory. What a wonderful name, Grace and Glory. But Doug's going to lay hands on everybody who came forward, and I'm going to be one of those, eh? I don't know where I am in that sequence that Doug laid out for you, but I'd kind of like to move up a notch today. You know, Paul talked about it. He had an anointing. And he said, I'm going to lay my hands on you so that you're going to receive. So we're just going to follow that pattern this morning. Uh, our communion is going to be in our heart today. That's why we don't have communion here. So we're going to take a moment at the altar for all who came. And, uh, if you don't mind, Doug, I'm going to let you... Lay hands on the people. Everyone has come to just make a straight yeah. line from here from front to back, side to side.